have an awesome SaaS Pro Facebook group. We've got the link in below. It's completely free to join. We want you to join. We want you in as a SaaS Pro. We also have guides in here. We give away lots of free stuff. So be sure to jump in our Facebook group, facebookgroup.com forward slash groups forward slash SaaS Pro. And we'll see you inside the group. Hopefully you have watched the dashboard overview. So that way you have a good idea of what your sub accounts are seeing and what you're going to be using by starting to use your high level account. In this video, I want to really give you a setup overview of some ideas to help you, first of all, set up your agency account. And then second of all, help your customers with onboarding and setting up their sub account. Now, if you're on the unlimited plan or the SaaS Pro plan, I am always going to recommend SaaS Pro. And when you're ready to upgrade, if you jumped in, all I'm asking is if you could use my code, we're going to help you out as much as possible with the awesome SaaS Pro. We have special instructions that'll help you upgrade so that way we can be your awesome affiliate partner and partner in crime. So we can be sure to be there to help you and your business and provide awesome value. The biggest difference in the training when related to unlimited versus the SaaS Pro is that your rebillable items. And then there's a couple of features that SaaS Pro has that you don't have. But you do have the ability in your unlimited to offer and use the lead connector email and the lead connector phone system. So I want to prep you if you're an unlimited user to be ready to upgrade to that SaaS Pro by utilizing Lead Connector. It's going to do a lot of great things for you. If you have not watched my whiteboard video on explaining it, go check it out. All right. So let me give you a little overview here on what this looks like. So as an agency, you are going to be in settings. You're going to want to make sure that you have your integration set up. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have your company, your billing, your credits, and then your team set up. That's going to be very important inside of your agency. The sub account will also have settings, integrations, company, billing, credits, and team. So remember, you as an agency, once you set up your account first, that's great. Everything's good. It's all going to be built under your business. And then the sub account will allow you to build your customers directly. And then if you're on SaaS mode, allow you to upsell and resell those abilities within those features, meaning the text and the email. Now, I added this column here because I feel like as a SaaS pro, it's really confusing when you get in. I am going to recommend a few things. One, that you have control or ownership or access to subdomains of your customers. I'm also going to recommend putting those into a Cloudflare account, which you can do for free and help them easily manage those subdomains as well as yours. I'm also going to recommend if you don't resell email or domain services, we use Ionis. I have lots of videos on that that will be in the SaaS Pro course that you'll have access to using. I'm also going to recommend that you have a membership or course or some type of setup. If you don't want to do courses, you need to have a landing page. You're going to want to have domains for all the funnels. You could have different campaigns. You're going to want to have either a help or a knowledge center. You want to create some subdomains right away. When I say subdomain, we don't want your website, your main website. You want it to be a subdomain like app dot your website. That's where all of your customers go to log in and access your system. You want to have an email domain that matches yours. So when you're sending out your email, it's reply dot your domain. Membership and courses, we do learn or you or things like that. Campaigns, if you're running different campaigns, it's fun to have those subdomains for the campaigns. And then of course, if you have a help or a you, these are the main domains that you want to set up for yourself. This is going to get your agency all set up so that way you can send your customers a link like we do where they can go log in, app.yourwebsite. So in this training, I'm using our app 365 Connect, which is actually being renamed and trained due to branding. So we've got all kinds of fun stuff. So I wanted to use that in this video because that's actually going to go away. So I'll have a whole new all kinds of fun stuff. But as your agency, you want to really get started doing that. Now, what do you mean by that? Okay, so I need a customer login. I need an email domain. 
Those are the main things. And then of course, you're going to want your phone number. So we're going to be looking at settings, integrations, company billing, credits, and team. Now, the very first thing that you want to do when you come into your agency is jump into your SaaS configurator. This is the first thing if you're on SaaS Pro. Set up your price points and get ready to go. Ours is actually going to be changing. Our minimal price is going to be $297. We're going to be doing $497 and $697. So I've got a lot of changes coming into my very own agency with our awesome rebranding that we're going to be doing. Right now, what you want to do as a SaaS agency is go in and click on the SaaS configurator. If you're not on a SaaS plan, don't worry about it. This will talk about plans and creating products and things like that when we get to payments and courses and memberships and, and all the extras. But as a SaaS pro, this is the first place you want to go. The second place you want to go is into your settings and into your company information. This is where you're going to put your logo. This logo is going to be seen across all of your accounts. What you put in here is going to show here. You're going to want to put in all of your company information. And inside the settings and company, this is where you set up all of your white label domains, your API link, your privacy policy, your terms and conditions. You'll see right here any special codes. This is my marketer's toolkit code. I also have some other custom CSS coding in here that I'd like. If you're not doing that, this is where you would also select if you want your theme to be the light mode or the dark mode. And that's what we actually showed inside the system. When we talk about setting up a white label domain, we don't want this to be yourwebsite.com. I would put app.yourwebsite.com. And then this is where you'll put that. And then there are instructions on how to add that and where to link it. When you click on this here, little question mark, when you click here for setup instructions, watch what happens. You get to go to high level. And Mr. Chase is awesome. He's going to teach you how to set up that domain. I really recommend utilizing Cloudflare because it's been so easy for my system. And it actually looks like they are going into a Cloudflare account. I would recommend that and follow this instructions. And again, you'll have that link when you go back to your company when you're ready to set up that subdomain. The other thing that you want to set up, which we'll get to here in a minute, is you can select these optimized for experience. I'm very involved in my customers with the group and things like that. We also have these new dial buttons, which are across the board. You're going to want to check these. These are probably going to change by the time you watch this video. And when you watch this video, you're going to see more stuff. So if you want to enable premium actions for all of your accounts, AI for all of your accounts, that's basically rebilling into those accounts. You want to be sure to set that up. Now, the other thing is going to be your phone system. You can see mine had Twilio right there because we were originally using Twilio and we switched, but yours is probably going to look a little bit different. I recommend connecting it to Lead Connector. That's going to be where when your customers come in to be able to add their phone systems in their sub accounts, that's the easy pick a number, boom, you're ready to go. Email services is also important. You need to make sure that you're setting up your email service. So if you're on the agency plan and you're not using Lead Connector, you want to connect your Melgun account here or any other Send in Blue or SendGrid or whatever you're using. Of course, I'm always going to recommend Lead Connector and that's what we use. So inside of your agency, you need to set your settings. And when you see local settings, You'll be able to come in here and you can set your customer settings. You can see we have all dedicated domains for every customer and that's how we love to set it up. And if they're not using the domain server, we actually built our own msgconnector.com domain. So that way we could really grow our email domain system versus just using Lead Connector domain. But you can use Lead Connector domain. You can create your own. Just remember, you're going to have some growing time. Might show up as spam until you start getting some activity. And then, of course, you can add dedicated domains for specific customers. But inside your agency settings, this is where you will go to see everything for your emails. We already talked about custom menu links. And then, of course, you're going to want to set up a Stripe payment or your payment as an agency setup. 
And then right down here, when we go into Launchpad, this is a really cool feature because you can disable the Launchpad or enable. We disable ours because we have an online Basically, they get an email, they get an onboarding, they get a workflow. So we just disabled it so we could have more spaces inside. But if you're not familiar with the launch pad, I'll put a screenshot of the picture here so you can see what that looks like. Labs is awesome if you want to participate in new things coming up. And then your audit logs. Now, everything else in here, like I said, has to do with your agency inside of it. But when we talk about what you're getting into, it's going to be pretty much the same thing your customers are. You just don't want to get confused between the agency account and the sub account. So you want to set yours up first. Make sure that you're able to email yourself. Make sure your phone number is working. Make sure everything is working. And then, of course, right here on the left hand side, I'm going to encourage you to become an affiliate. If that's not your business model, don't worry. But you can definitely sign up as an affiliate partner and get people to sign up using your link as well. What we're really doing is making sure that we have our company information set up, which is basically the logos, the subdomain. You'll get your own dedicated API. You'll, if you're on SaaS, you'll have extra stuff that'll all be in here. One of the things that you want to make sure is that you have your billing set up, meaning you're seeing your agency pro plan here when your next invoice date is. But down here, this is your credits. Now, remember, we're in agency mode still. So guess what? You can see all the details of what's happening to every single account that you have, what credits they're using, all the details of those transactions. It's very important that you manage this because whether you are on unlimited or rebilling, when you set them up with their own email and phone number, and it's dedicated to the lead connector, you are going to get billed. So you want to have your recharge amount, you want to have your card on file, and you want to always know what your current balance is. You can easily look at the C details to see what customers are doing, but you can also check that as well in your agency settings. So again, just what I'm explaining to you is what you're going to be explaining when we go into setting up customer accounts. We just went over setting up your account. We just went over setting up your main email and phone integrations, making sure your company information is in with your custom domain for your customers to access, making sure your billing is set up and you understand credits. And then, of course, adding team members. You can do that right now. We want to make sure that you're set up. I like to add my team members when I'm inside of a sub account because a lot of times when I'll add somebody in an agency account, I'll forget and give them agency access. So I like to do my team members when I set up the sub account. Let's jump in and talk about the sub account settings. You should feel really comfortable with your agency settings. Let's just recap and make sure that you have your settings set up where you have your subdomain set up where you have your white labeled email set up. If you're going to offer membership and courses, have that. If you're going to have a knowledge center or a help desk, you can set up those subdomains, but be sure to have your customer login subdomain set up. And what we wanna do is make sure that you have your email with lead connector set up, your phone with lead connector set up. We have your card on file and you have plenty of credits that are gonna cover the current customers coming in because that is going to be your true cost. We're going to talk about credits when we get in a sub account so the customers can see what they're getting charged. But the best way to remember this is that everything is being paid for through your agency account. So when somebody uses a phone or a text or an email, it's going to come from their credits, but it's going to bill you. So you want to have loaded credits ready to go to be able to support your customer. Now, as they use them, what's great, or if you're on SaaS and you have a resell, you'll actually see the difference. So the customer will pay for their credits and it will subtract from your credits, but you'll see a Stripe deposit into your account for them purchasing the credits. So all of the credits purchased by your customers are going to go into your Stripe account, which means that all of the credits that have been used by the customers are going to come out of your main agency. But hopefully, if you've done all this right, and which High Level has worked very hard on, I know the last couple of years with this lead connector system, is that when that customer gets low at $5, it charges their card. It puts that money into your Stripe account. And now that that money's in your Stripe account, when you get billed, 
you've got it ready to pay for that, plus some additional profit if you're on the pro SaaS plan. And that covers it for the agency settings. Now let's talk about the sub account. Now again, we have to go into the sub account and we need to go set our customers up with their settings, their integrations, their email, their phone, their company, their billing, their credits, and then of course their team members. One of the things that I like to do is an account setup. And I've created a onboarding.domain name start here setup page for my customers. And this teaches them exactly what they need to do. When I did this, I also made it available for my team to go through. So if they had any questions, everything was going to be here and easily ready to look at and be able to set up with the customer. If you look at this page, I did a subdomain onboarding, of course, using my main website, but also my awesome Cloudflare account. You'll see I have an onboarding page, which is the account setup and walkthrough. So I have them watch a quick video first. I want them to jump into our group. I also want to make sure to cover the video and billing for inside so they understand how to set up their company and billing. Then I'm going to help them set up a local phone number. Then I'm going to help them set up their email. Then we're going to show them how to integrate their Google business. We're going to show them how to integrate their Facebook. And we're going to show them how to add their social profiles so they can use the social planner. And then finally, once everything is set up, we show our customers how to access the mobile app. So we know that they can access the desktop and the mobile app and they are ready to get started. This is how simple your setup should be. Whether you walk through them on the phone, whether you give them a link like this, you have different types of customers that learn different ways, but it's really important that you understand how to do this. I will put a link here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna be showing you some of these quick videos and samples, so that way you can see what I've done in my videos to show them how to set this up. It's going to be the same thing for your customers. You're going to come into their account. You're going to go into their settings. Now that we're on the sub account, we're going to make sure the company information is all correct. We want to make sure everything's correct for the company billing. We also want to make sure that their billing page is correct. We also want to make sure that their billing is correct. We're also going to show our customers how to go in and set up their credits by selecting the auto recharge amount based on their credits. So we're going to walk them through making sure their company's information is correctly, adding their team members. We're going to also show them how to add their phone numbers and set up their custom domains and set up, guess what else? Their email, the other integrations, the Facebook. Think of it as being that easy, just like what you did. You're going to set up your settings, your integrations, your email, your phone. You're going to make sure your company and billing and credits are set up. And then you're going to make sure the team is set up. We can always add more domains based on their campaigns, based on what they're doing in the future, based on certain promotions. And we'll talk about that when we start setting up sites and websites and funnels and all that good stuff. And that's how to set up your account, your agency account, and your sub account, and going through your checklist to make sure that you are ready to go. Now what we want to do is we want to get into all the nitty gritty of all the details. There are tons of videos out there. I'm going to focus on ones that maybe you can't find in YouTube or maybe that you're not seeing directly in the high level training, but I want to make sure that our training helps you get through the sales, the service, and the support of our 3S system. We also want to make sure that your customers feel good about managing their sales, their service, their support, and that you feel comfortable and become an expert when it comes to setting up calendars, reputation, understanding reporting, workflows, all the marketing, the sites, everything. So we're going to go through all of that, tons of videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to jump into the group where we can answer those questions. And of course, your questions always help us make and create more and better videos just for you. Thanks so much, Kathy, your SaaS pro. We'll see you on the next video.